morning guys. Welcome back to Minute on the Mountain. I am out with Ben. Uh, he and his wife Madeline go to our church and uh, just found out they're getting ready to move back to the southeast. So we're going to try and get out and get him on his first trout today. It's a beautiful morning. It's like 53 degrees when I left the house. Sunny. So let's see if we can get on some fish on the Blacksmith Fork River. There you go, that's a good cast right there. Got a little water snake down here by her feet. See it? How about now? See it slithering away? Yep. Oh! Oh! He, he never got it, but he was right. He was right there. He was trying to find it. That's what I mean about the muddy water. <laughs> that was a nice size brown, too. That's the biggest fish I've seen today. I saw him tracking, but he just never went for it. Oh, that's another good cast. Got ah. one. Ben just caught his first brown, guys. And it's a nice, healthy brown, too. Come down here and get a closer look at it. Great yeah, job, man. Man, I appreciate it. You nice work, it. yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's a great catch. Awesome. All right, we're going to take him off and get him back in the water, guys. See me lose him? Oh, it's a cutthroat too, man. Nice. So you get to see another kind of trout. That's a big one. What kind did you say that this was? This is a cutthroat. So if you remember, yours had spots kind of all over the body. The cuts yeah. are concentrated more towards the tail. Okay. And they get their name because they have these orange slashes under their throat. Ah, so. Okay. Awesome. Okay, guys, just caught a cut in the blacksmith fort. Don't catch a lot of cuts in here, so that's always nice. Let's let them back in. There he goes. Is it a brown or a cut? Oh. Yep, another little brown. Oh, see, so that's a male. See how he's got these red dots with the blue halos kind of around him? Oh, okay. Yeah, sweet. All right, Ben with the second brown of the day. Nice, man. Thank you. So that is looking west out over Ogden and Layton and out towards Antelope Island. Now we're going south. And now we're going east over to Huntsville and Eden, Liberty. You can see Pineview Reservoir over there.
So you guys from Northern Utah know where I'm at. Starting to get into more and more sign, which is encouraging at the beginning. Right when I got out of the car, I saw four deer. I was like, oh good, maybe I'll get into an area with a lot of sign. Then I didn't see anything. But about the last 20 minutes, I've started to get into some elk sign. Fairly steady, particularly back in these trees. Out on this open face, I'm not seeing as much. Anyway, I'm working my way over this way, kind of away from the majority of the hiking trails. There are hiking trails all up in here, and for good reason, it's beautiful. But most of the trails kind of stay on the top of the ridge or drop down to the southwest. Um, there's a couple of big flats up here and a bunch of big, or a couple of big groves of cedars. I'm gonna go work up in that, so. Hopefully we can find something today. We are in a new county. If we find something, I'll be able to check off a new county. Here we go. I just spent about an hour and a half beating through some of the thickest stuff I've ever been through. I didn't even take my camera out. I was trying to keep it from getting all scratched up. <clears throat> up on the very top now. So overlooking Eden and Liberty and Huntsville off to this side. Well, Eden and Liberty really to that side, Huntsville more over there, but. Spit snow a little bit up here on top, just barely, not much. It's cold though. Temperature's probably 50, but the wind's blowing 10, 15 miles an hour from the north, and it's a cold wind. So, I haven't been on the trail in forever. You can see there's a trail on the top of the ridge there. And I'm, I'm gonna stay away from it. No sense walking right on the trail. But now I'm gonna just skirt these pines over here on the south facing slope. Got about another hour and a half, maybe two hours before we'll I have to start hiking down. As you can see, the storm is blown in all around me. It's snowing and blowing. We're gonna start heading back down. Storm blew over, sun is back out. And that's gotta be one of the prettiest valleys you've ever seen. This time of the year, everything is so green. Now, I won't stay that way. It's pretty much all that's gonna be brown here in another three to four weeks. But this time of the year, it's just absolutely beautiful. Working our way back down to the car. We got about probably a mile and a half from here. And I'm hiking the trail down. I didn't hike the trail any up because I was looking for sheds. But on the way back down with all that snow and everything that was coming down, I just hiked the trail down. Coming at you from a messy garage tonight to wrap up this video, guys. I'm trying to repaint the kitchen. Uh, my office is a disaster and one of the light bulbs just went out in there and I I didn't want to take the time to change it. So this may be just as dark. If it is, I apologize. Just want to thank you for coming along on the, the fishing and the hiking today and wrap this up with the channel shout out and the minute on the mountain. The channel that I want to shout out to you is Shane Flint. A uh, lot of bass fishing videos. In fact, that's the main thing I've watched on his channel. I know he does some other outdoor stuff too. Uh, I wanted to shout out his channel, number one, because he just seems like a super solid guy. 
he just did a recent video where he was giving some pointers to another YouTuber and his son, if I remember, that were out on the same lake fishing that he was. And so, you know, just to take time out of your day and, and try to help the next guy, I just think it's really cool. You know, I had as much fun, probably more fun, watching Ben catch his first trout than I had catching the cutthroat that I caught. So anyway, Shane Flint, check him out when you get a chance. I'll put a link in the description to his channel. The Minute on the Mountain comes from Matthew chapter 5, uh, beginning about verse 33. We're still doing the six antitheses of Jesus from his Sermon on the Mount as part of our sermon series. And the message I preached last Sunday was where Jesus says, You have heard it was told to our ancestors to keep the vows that you make unto the Lord. Don't break your vows. But I say, don't make any vows. Essentially, Jesus says, just let your yes be yes and let your no be no. And that's super important for anyone, I think. I think building trust in any relationship, whether it's a child building trust with mom and dad or mom and dad building trust with a child or you know, spouses building trust with one another is so critical. But for those of us who profess to be followers of Jesus, I can't think of anything that's more foundational than we need to be a people who can be trusted. We need to be a people who do what we say we're going to do. Think about it this way. How can we point people to the God who can be trusted with their eternity if they can't trust us? So that's just my challenge to all of us today. You know, I, and I'm not even necessarily talking about when you just tell a old face lie, right? I'm talking about the exaggerations. I'm talking about withholding some of the story. I'm talking about all the ways that we look for loopholes when it comes to being truthful, because that's really what Jesus was getting at with the Pharisees. The Pharisees had created loopholes so that if, if you made a vow, but you didn't swear by the right thing, it wasn't binding. And Jesus says, get away from that. Be a truth teller. Let your yes be yes and let your no be no. So let's be truth tellers this week. Thanks so much for coming along, guys. And we're getting kind of close to 900 subscribers. I think we're at about 885. And we will do our next giveaway when we hit 900. So if you enjoy the videos, but you haven't subbed yet, do me a favor, hit that sub button. If there's a video that you've really liked, maybe out of the last five videos, do me a favor, share that video. See if we can get up to 900 so we can do another giveaway. God bless you guys, and we'll see you the next time right on the mountain.